me, ice cream is something you can enjoy all year round, no matter how cold it gets here in Kelloland. Only we all know that the tasty treat comes with a few too many calories <laughs> and sugar, causing many people to either skip out or feel guilty after taking that last bite in the bowl. You can put your worries aside because I'm going to teach you a way to make your own healthy version of ice cream using protein powder and a few other simple ingredients you might already have in your cupboard. I can't wait, Brittany. So I call this protein ice cream. And Gary, I like couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited to teach you how to make this. Well, I, I understand too that this is actually the official protein ice cream that the Minnesota Vikings use. So this is a good thing. All the Viking players use this exact same recipe. Gary, are you, so that's why are they're you lying to our viewers no, right now? That's, no, I, I just, I I just wanted you to know of, that. You don't even know what the recipe so, is. How do you yep. know the Minnesota Vikings? Well, season? I, you know, I mean, I'm a Lies. fan. Fake news, everybody. Fake <laughs> news. Okay, so here we go. This is super simple to make. Okay. You only need a few ingredients. I'm just going to walk through this, and you don't have to make it. We're going to be doing chocolate peanut butter, but you could right. do vanilla. You could do I don't know. There's a lot of different options for flavors. Okay. So um, first, you need. Protein powder. Okay. Um, so I'm using a peanut, or no, not a peanut butter protein powder, a chocolate protein powder. Okay. So you need uh, about two scoops of that. It comes with a scoop in the actual protein powder. You use about one and a half scoops. You could use about two otherwise. Okay. And then you need a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. And so what xanthan gum is, is a lot of people who want a gluten free bake, they'll use this to help it stick together. So xanthan gum really helps make it thicker, so it gets that ice cream okay. texture to it. Um, and then PB2, so you need two tablespoons of that. So what PB2 is, is it's powdered peanut butter, and you can get just regular powdered peanut butter flavor, or this one's chocolate flavored, because I like the chocolate with mm -hmm. it. So for example, two tablespoons of this is 45 calories, and four grams of protein in That's that. That's a lot. But if you think of peanut butter, how many calories are in two tablespoons of peanut butter? I don't know. A lot more. A lot okay. more, Gary. All right. Then you need some almond milk. I use the unsweetened vanilla kind. Okay. And you need a cup, of, a cup of that, but you might have to add some more in if it gets too thick. Okay. And then once everything's in, you'll add in the ice. And if you want, you can add, people will use hot cocoa packets to add some more flavor. Sure. Or whipped cream on top. I didn't bring that in. Obviously. Sorry, Sorry to or disappoint chocolate you. Chips. Or chocolate chips. Because I wanted to do the healthy version to see what you thought. Oh, you're killing me, Brittany. <laughs> you sound so excited. All right, I'm willing. Okay. I'm willing. So, first thing, I'm going to have you do it. Kay. So, I'm going to have you dump in this. Don't dump it all in because I put too much in there. So, leave, dumping into Leave the... like this much left in the bag. All right, so we're doing it into the big bullet. Into the big bullet. Oh, you're letting it go. I know, I know I am. <laughs> This is really difficult when you. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, all right. Okay, now you're gonna do two tablespoons of PB2. Not he heaping. Heaping. <laughs> not no, heaping. Not heaping. All right. Just a normal tablespoon. And doesn't this smell good? So far, so good. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum, and don't do a complete fourth, just because otherwise it might get too thick. Is it the same as a quarter? What? What did you say? Is the is. Not that much. Take some out. No, I said is, is one fourth the same as a quarter? <laughs> Give me Brittany. to me. I'm doing it. You wanted me to do that, and that's okay. what it is. You wanted me to do it. I don't know, but I just want to do a little less. So I'm asking you, is a fourth, a one teaspoon. fourth teaspoon the same as a quarter teaspoon? Yeah. Okay. Where do you, where do you get the xanthan gum stuff? Um, you can get it at Walmart, Target, a lot of different places. I would in, guess all grocery stores. Yeah, in the okay. baking aisle where they have, um, it's Hodgson Mill, and they have that in regular wheat flour, everything, but okay. um, this will last you a really long time. I'm guessing there's other brands, too, that we could yeah. try. That's not the, yep. okay. Okay, all right. so now let's do a cup of almond milk. Am Ooh, I making this, or are you making this? Well, I have to help Touch you. Okay, ready? I'll, I'll pour it in. How many cups of this are we doing? One, but we'll probably do a little bit more. Why? Just because I said so. You know the professional bakers? They don't, they even, don't even measure. measure. Okay, let's do a little more. We'll do like another half cup. Kay. Okay, put it in. We're not going to use the hot cocoa packet, but I brought it in. Okay, now I don't know if you'll need all of this, but fill the rest of the bullet or the yep, container with container. ice. More. Actually, you might need it all. Yeah, why not do it all if you can get it in there? All right, here we go. Wait. Okay. Do I get to do the bullet? You can sure do the bullet. Nice. Okay. Get it a little bit well, why shaken do, up. Why do that? Because that's what the bullet no. does. Ready, go. Right? See it getting thicker? Yeah, you can, feel, you can hear it getting thicker. 
How long do you do it for? Just a little bit longer. So, all right, let's stop. Okay, so I'll use this like after the gym when yeah. I wanted to use my protein. Yeah. I'll use it like this because then it's like a, I don't know, it tastes better than just drinking the protein powder straight. Sure. Oh, this is on tight. You want me to do it? I got it. That's why, yeah, I don't go to the gym and I could get it open. So. <laughs> okay, so. Um, wow, it looks creamy. I know. Looks just like ice cream. I know. I can't wait it to try it. It is ice cream, Gary. We're sure we're starting to whipped cream and I think we put too much chips. almond milk in it. Okay. You want a spoon? This is, this is the official test. Kills. Wait, I gotta test it first, make sure it tastes good. All right. Yeah, it's pretty good. What's this called again? Protein ice cream. Protein ice cream. Usually it's thicker. I put too much almond milk in. So calories and in all of this whole thing that we just mm -hmm. made, there's 250 calories. Do you like it? It's good. Yeah, it's really good. Did you just? I'd eat, I would eat this. Yeah. See? And it's, yeah, 250 calories. There's about 40 grams of protein in that, all of this, if you eat this whole thing. So you don't have to feel guilty wow. and you're getting your protein in. Mm -hmm. Perfect bedtime snack. I don't know the carbs. I probably should have calculated that. It's a killer, but really good, Brittany. Way to go. Thank, thank you, you, thank, thank you. you. Try this at home. We'll have the recipe right. online. So